Good morning, Matthias. Today we are going to talk about our country's part in EU and what European Union provides for us. Since there will be an exam on the subject at the end of the semester, it's important you listen carefully and take notes. So let's get into it. As you remember from previous classes, European Union establishes European Coal and Steel Community back in 1952. And our country has been a vital contributor ever since. Do you remember how much Netherlands contribute to EU budget by 2018? Well, yes I do Mr. Van Beck. 2018 figures shows that Netherlands total contribution to EU budget is 4 billion euros, which is equivalent to 0.62% of the Dutch economy. Well, that's surprising. Well done, Matthias. And in return, European Union expenditure in Netherlands is 2 billion euros, which is equivalent to 0.32% of the Dutch economy. Well, we'll get into what European Union provides to citizens and member states after the break. Let's have a break. Well, le- in this session, we will talk about benefits and drawbacks of European Union to our citizens. European Union provides its citizens with certain benefits, which are valid in member countries, such as traveling through member states without visa, working and residential rights, subsidies, territory education, and scholarship and also right to have a protection by EU member states. Those are among many benefits that European Union provides for its citizens. So what do you think about public view towards EU, given those facts, Matthias? Well, I know some survey surveys on this issue, Mr. Van Beck. So. A survey conducted in 2018 with the contribution of a thousand respondents gives us an understanding about the situation. The question was, what does EU mean to you in personally? So 48% of the participants' response was that EU means peace to them. When the same question asked towards an age period of 18 to 30, response was freedom to travel, study and work anywhere in the EU which also constitutes 72% of the participants. Well, that was quite impressive, Matthias. So anything else you would like to add? Well, also a poll in the Netherlands by the Pew Research Center in June 2016, prior to Brexit referendum, states that 51% of the Dutch respondents are in favor of EU and 46 have negative views over the EU. Also, the rise of Eurosceptic parties through the Europe led to discussion whether a monetary union is beneficial or not. Among the supporters of right-wing Eurosceptic parties has rised, and 51% support the EU, whereas 71% of the supporters do not support EU in Eurosceptic parties. Well done again, Matthias. But before I end this session, I want you to know one more thing about what changed our thoughts about EU. As you know, we voted down the European Union Constitutional Treaty in response to France and Germany's action in violating the terms of stability and growth pact. So until that point, our public were never questioning what our government is doing in Brussels as long as our economy was booming. And also, Greek Euro crisis changed the opinion of European Union citizens since Eurozone countries paid extra money to stabilize the Euro. So this affected the Dutch people as well, even though the support has declined in state level. As you said, public polls shows that people are supporting the EU. So let's have a break, then we will go on with your skepticism in Netherlands and the importance of the European Union. Also, EU brought prosperity to region and also Netherlands as well. However, Netherlands pays huge amount of money to European Union, making us bound to European Union in deciding certain issues such as immigration, trade and so on. That is why some Dutch politicians emphasize EU as 
undemocratic. But isn't it obvious that the benefits Netherlands enjoying are more beneficial in the long run because with the disappearance of internal borders and agreements make our national income higher when compared to 1970. So the collaboration makes us more attractive to businesses and markets since we have chance to offer our goods to the entire European market. Also with the European Union a long-lasting peace has achieved as we can all remember how Netherlands suffered from both world wars. In the society level Dutch people can travel, live, work and study freely through the European Union. This leads to reduction of bureaucratic process as well. Rising wealth that Netherlands developed with the help of trade made our own people lives more prosperous. So even though your skepticism has risen a little bit in the long term it's not beneficial to exit the union right well yeah dutch people are still in favor of european union its benefits are more than the drawbacks as we can understand so the fire that brexit start made countries decide on how beneficial european union to them and we as well so what shall Netherlands do? What do you want to say about this, Matthias? Well, I think since we are vital in the region, Netherlands should work in a way to improve the status of European Union. This improvement, I think, can only be achieved by collaboration. So we should work collaboratively with the region's powers. Well, now the time's up. It was good class. Your thoughts were accurate enough. So let's end the class for today, right? <laughs>